everyone, Ms. White here, and I just want to show you how you're going to submit your Quizlet test to Google Classroom by Friday at midnight. So, first thing I want to show you is I have both my Quizlet open and I have my Google Classroom open. You really don't have to have them both opened at the same time, but for make the sake of making this faster, I just decided to have them both open at the same time. Okay, for the sake of this example, I'm going to use a 7th grade account. Please note that your 8th grade account or your 6th grade account is going to have the same process. So I go to the Assign Quizlet Quiz. And after I've played some flashcards, you know, learned what my words mean, maybe done Speller a couple of times, done some scatter and playing some matching games. I'm now ready. I feel, oh man, I know my words. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my test. Once I've completed the test, so I'll answer all these questions. Remember, we want to make sure that when you answer all the questions, you want to make sure all four of these are checked and that the total possible on your um, questions have been chosen. So you click reconfigure if it wasn't there already. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my test. Okay, so I take the test. Once that's been completed, I'm going to click check answers. Clearly, I did not fill anything in. Once I've checked my answers, please go ahead and click print this test. Once you've clicked print this test, you're going to want to change it um, so it says save as a PDF. If you're on a Chromebook, it'll most likely default to having you save it as a PDF. You must save it as a PDF. I will not accept it as a paper. I will not accept it as a picture. You must save it as a PDF. So save it to your account. I would recommend saving it to your Google account if possible. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to call it my last name. And in this case, I made an account called Fake Student. So I'm going to say student name. And then you're going to put... Your, and then just leave the rest of it because it tells me which one it was, okay? And click Save. Once you've done that, you go into your Google Classroom. You go to your Quizlet assignment, the assignments. This is your Quizlet one, right? It says Vocab. And if you want to see it, the whole thing I can show you. So if we let's go back real quick. We can see the assignment. And we can see Quizlet Book one lesson one and we're going to click on this and we're going to click add from Google Drive or if you need to upload it from a different file you can do that as well um, in this case from my drive and I'm going to that's not the right folder so oh I know what I did wrong I'm going to do it from a folder and on this folder what I'll show you. So you open up your folder where it was at. If it's if you put it in your Google Drive account, it will be there. The problem was is I saved it to my teacher account instead of the fake student account. Anyway, so if you save it to your Google Drive, it will show up there. But if not, that's okay. Here's my test. Oops. Shouldn't have pressed anything. Um, here's my test. And all I have to do is drag and drop it in. And once it's been added, give it a second to load. It sometimes takes a minute. It's now been added, and I'm going to click Turned In. If you have any comments, maybe, oh, right, I got a 100. Or, I don't understand why I got number six wrong. Then I can go ahead and I can um, comment on that back to you and let you know. So click turn in. Once you click turn in the second time, it'll tell you your assignment has been turned in. And that's it. You have now turned in your assignment for Quizlet. Okay, see you next time.